really good joke. Well, all right, let's pull up the Day of Reckoning tweet because I can't remember precisely what all had happened. Jack uh, doesn't respect any of us. No. Come on. <laughs> I was going to say, okay, so 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 let's let's just get this out of the way real quick. Chris, you really need to shut the fuck up sometimes. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. I'm inebriated. Inebriation. I want more podcast juice. Yeah, by the way, I added another machete story because there's been multiple ones this it. month. Mom would be disappointed in me if I got more. Are you going to stay, Alex? Yeah, but I'm going to watch this F1 highlights quickly. Wait, when did you join? Oh, yeah. Uh, like wow, the Syrian Grand Prix. Prix. Syrian, you idiots. Yeah, Syrian. Syrian. Yeah, <laughs> Syrian. Oh, yeah, I watched that earlier. I put some pictures in spoilers, so okay. you guys see it. Oh, he's muted himself now. Yeah. The, isn't that, that, that new Lamborghini that they just announced, like the most powerful one they ever made? Yeah, they do that all the time. Really? Yeah, it's, oh, it's the most powerful Lamborghini, but no one cares. Nobody, but Lamborghini said it. This Lamborghini. Oh, I just like saying Lamborghini, to be honest with you. Yeah, That's actually, Lamborghini's day. fun. Um, mm -hmm. The reason it exists is because Ferrari are just Simmons, I want to help make a phone idiots. call. Shut up. Let me talk to your boss, Simmons. Excuse uh, me, do you speak happened, English? Yes. What happened one day was the owner of Lamborghini, who only made tractors at the time, told Ferrari that... <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not even joking. They still make tractors now. But they made only tractors at the time, bought a Ferrari, and the owner said, this is terrible, this is how you can fix your clutch. And the owner of Ferrari said, you're an idiot, if you think you can do a better job, do it yourself. So he did. Wow. Well, so he, he actually took the challenge and made a billion dollars off it. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay, more power to you, dude. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's right. The other bit of the day of reckoning. Uh, there was a third thing as well. I'm trying to find it, but yeah, no. That's we're, happened we're more about... than once. Yeah. Like um, in the the ninth, uh, it's actually around the same time. Uh, Ford tried to buy Ferrari. Uh, they said we could make a better Le Mans car than you. So Ferrari said, if you could do that, you should do it. So they did, and Ford Whoa. beat Ferrari like eight times in a row. <laughs> I love hearing stories like, uh, about that because it just goes to show that the the people that have the most to lose are often the most like the biggest crap talkers. They just talk up a storm and be like, "Oh, you weren't. Oh, I no, didn't no, think no. you'd they're, actually do it." They're not crap talkers. <laughs> they are just too proud about themselves because they're Ferrari. They make the best cars, except they don't. Yeah, as it, proven by this current season of Formula One, the where they're slower than Toyota the Toyota. slowest um, team last year. He did just announce those new Tractor Rick Owen sneakers that just dropped for you, uh, Alex. Oh, no, he's away. But anyway, the new Tractor Rick Owen. 924 pounds, ridiculous, amazing shoes. Everyone should go buy them. They're great. What? Frick. Hey, Andrew, what happened when you ordered shoes on Frick's recommendation? Oh, yeah, no, I got scammed. Yeah. What happened? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You said buy those shoes, so I did, and it was sixty pounds. Weird. Are you talking about that. those shady ass, those nail shoes? What do you mean you shady? You told me they were good. Shady. Well, you weren't actually supposed to buy those. You told me I was. Dude, it was a dude. Pa I, I was kidding. You were drunk. I didn't think you'd do it. What? That's well, even no. reason to tell I him. I did, but I got a lot of information from them, so it's fine. I didn't think you'd like remember anything. I was just like, "Fucking, it'd be funny." I don't know. No, no, I, I got so much information from them. I have the owner's name. Um, so, you actually, so you actually bought them? What happened? Well, uh, it's been in shipping for like eight days now. No, dude, it's, if it's coming from China, then that's just China. It takes like weeks just to get here. No, that's no, no, it's coming from Northern Ireland. You know, that's specifically normal. a field. They're doing is they're, they're doing that thing where like what do they call it? Drop shipping, where they you order it and then the person orders it, buys it from China, and then sends it to you. Yeah, that that's normal. Don't worry about it. Frick, that's such a smell if they're just waiting out the, uh, like, PayPal dispute period. No, they no, are. Not to mention, there's a, there's a friggin' horse flu going around, so stuff's gonna go no, no, they are conveniently waiting just four days after the PayPal dispute period. Eh. I mean, if not, you can just do a chargeback. Well, no, because they've got a tracking number. Oh, so? So PayPal doesn't do chargebacks on that. Uh, your credit card company does. No, I don't have a credit card. Credit cards are stupid here. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, dude, expensive. please tell me you're not buying things online without using a credit card. 
I'm using PayPal for. Oh no! no I'm using oh, PayPal for the things that you send. <laughs> screwed, dude. You got to use a credit. Why would anyone, if given the choice, not use the bank's money as opposed to their money? That's fine. I've got lots more. It's. It, <laughs> it, I've got like all of their details now. Like I have the owner's um, like full name. Is it going to be like one of those Indian scam centers where like you can break into the whole thing and break like you can find out like the location they're at and then send it to the Indian government and they shut them down? No, the Indian government doesn't shut them down. They don't care. Yeah, the funny um, thing to do is to find a local crime group and just tell them to go there. That's what uh, the, no, that happened. You no, didn't hear I found, that out, I found out where the owner lives. Uh, also, fun fact, uh, the same person is also trying to sell high-end furniture for really cheap. Uh, and also curtains. Kind of curtains. For, I don't know, for windows. Ooh, like, double glazed. Yeah. Only, I only put curtains on my fine double glazed windows. That's why every time Wait, I talk to double glazed windows, UK, not they tell me it's like a real problem. Like these door to door salesmen in the UK that go around selling double glazed windows and people hate it. Oh, yeah, no, that happened to me once. Um, <laughs> at the time, I was living in an apartment and they looked at the wrong windows and told me they needed to be replaced. So I like stood outside and said, Yeah, I agree. I don't live there, but I agree. And then I closed the door. I mean, I went back inside and closed the door because otherwise that would have been awkward. Here's some uh, baby crocodiles that sound like ray guns. Cool. Well, actually, the ray guns from Star Wars is actually the sound of someone hitting a steel wire with a uh, a wrench. Nice, right? Yeah, I like that. I'll hit you with a wrench, please. Thanks. Okay, I'll wrench we can. Hey, Jack. T by C and B. Yeah. <laughs> How much of that recording is usable, Jack? I'd uh, imagine most of it. Yeah, yeah. most of it's actually kind of good. Yeah, except for oh. the, the libel bits, because Simmons is a big dummy. No, put them yeah. in anyway, because the court said it's not libel. That's just what they call each other. Yeah, you can trust us. We're drunk. <laughs> you got you to gotta do it. It gets some people talking. It's provocative. No, we've got the, the court documents to prove it. So he's not going to do it. What's he going to do? He's going to block us on Twitter. Which I've been trying to do. Um, apparently, he doesn't see my messages where I call him pedo guy. <laughs> <laughs> and just remember, truth is an absolute defense. And uh, God, let's not elaborate on this one because yeah. I don't want to talk about um, noted suicide like, aficionado. It went Jeffrey. to court of Elon Musk defending himself, saying like pedo guy is just a fun thing that they say. And then people started calling him pedo guy, and he doesn't like it. Yeah. Wait, hang on. Speaking of which, uh, if we're talking about Papa John's stuff, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Papa John's has been having booming business. I mean, oh, they're so yeah, because there's a pandemic. Pizza Hut went, pizza found, hut went out of business. Yeah. Okay, hang on. So what do we got here? These headlines all came in like a week of each other. Pizza Hut's biggest franchisee declares bankruptcy. Chuck E. Cheese closes 34 restaurants. Chuck <laughs> E. Um, <laughs> David Bauernfeind, Bauernfeind, uh, Domino's Pizza CFO, just died in a snorkeling accident. Accident in quotes. <laughs> yeah, because it's the day of reckoning. And then former Dojo Pizza owner sentenced to 65 years for sex crimes against children. Like, oh, no. the day of oh, reckoning no. is occurring. Papa John is getting his revenge. There I is thought that was a joke. No, it, it probably was, but... Or he probably didn't mean it as a joke, but he also probably didn't mean it like this. He's just too He's powerful. behind all of it all. <laughs> so, no, Papa John's is interesting because they had to close 2,100 Papa John's restaurants a little while ago, but they made so much money, they opened every single one of them back up. Wait, actually, no, speaking of Papa John's, Chris, I've got some good news. Uh-oh. I found that image that you sent me. Oh, no, we're not. Nope. I'm going to no. make it the thumbnail. We are not doing that. <laughs> yeah, I thought I deleted it, but I didn't. I still we're, have it. We're not, we're not doing that. We are not making that the thumbnail. Why? Because you have terrible judgment when you're drunk. But what if I make it the thumbnail of the main podcast, even though we didn't talk about it in that? Oh my god, that's even worse! It'll be funny. Th no, it won't be funny. It will be for me.
Andrew, I'm going to find where you live in real life and shoot your hard drive with bullets. Oh, that's not I don't have a hard drive. I only have there. SSDs. I'm going to shoot your magnets with bullets. Get some rare earth bullets. There you go. Yeah, neodymium bullets. What if I install it or save it to the cloud? Is this tr I looked up, uh, There's the, for whatever reason, um, there's all these articles about uh, John Shader, the founder of Papa John's, and one of the new articles that just showed up <laughs> is about how we just got a lot richer. You know the oh, Papa John's founder is a friggin' billionaire? He's worth $1.1 $1 .1 billion. Oh, he's finally a billionaire now? Congratulations. Yeah. Like, what? He he dipped below it earlier this year, but now he, he jumped back up to 1.1. 1 .1. Yeah. Can't yeah. stop it. The rich keep getting richer. You yeah, can't Papa stop uh, the Papa. <laughs> can't stop the Papa. He's too powerful. Okay, I said that what the image is in text that I'm not actually going to put as a thumbnail because... Just saying it is funny, but I'm not actually going to do it. But there you go. Yeah. Like that, that's what the image is. I can unfortunately interpret every word you meant to type there, you drunk bastard. Oh, God. Do I want to know? or? Well, let's tell you yeah, after... I'll, I'll translate. Oh, yeah. Chris can do that as well. Oops. He's less useless than Papa me. Jockins. I've seen some of that stuff listed in certain dark, dark, uh, dark net chat rooms, so I want to make sure what I'm seeing here. <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, you do know about this because you told me to send it to TMZ. Oh, that's old news. <laughs> that's old memes, man. Yeah. yeah, it's that one, just so we're clear. It's some ancient memes. Yeah. Oh my god, I hate you people. I'm not going to do the podcast anymore unless Andrew promises to be sober and Jack promises to not bitch at me for being drunk. <laughs> nope, no. No. Oh, okay, no, okay, no. We both disagree, so you're going to do it anyway. And yeah, I guess that. so. That's sad. We should wait oh, for Alex to come back, okay. and we can talk about the F1 and um, the spoilers, both literally and metaphorically. Oh, Alex is back. That was Vettel, perfect timing. Wasn't Vettel supposed to have a big announcement? Yeah, his big announcement is that he doesn't have a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys see that Papa John's did a tour of his mansion? Did you guys see that already? Oh, is he doing a new tour of the Papa John Papa Mausoleum? Yeah, he just uploaded a video a couple days ago. Here, here's the uh, he, he lives in the biggest McMansion. Yeah, there you go. That's that Papa John. Actually, Somehow it's not no, even... here's the thing: he doesn't even have the uh, the biggest mansion in the city. Uh, I was talking to some friends about this, and um. The, I can't remember who it was now, but they were talking about him and said, like, he has, like, the biggest house in the city. And I was like, wait, even bigger than Papa John's? And they said, yes, I don't know who it was now. Um, that was a clap for earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, I wish I remembered. I don't, though, because I'm a big idiot. Frick, what the hell is all this PHP? We're getting rid of that. Uh, I don't know. It was just at the source, I guess. Let's copy and paste doesn't work. He manually typed all of that out. <laughs> I had to do it by hand. It was a hand selected link. Why is he on TikTok? He's got to get going to TikTok. TikTok. I mean, dude, when you're worth $1.1 billion, like, what else are you going to do with your day? Make TikToks. I gotta make the TikToks. I just like, number one, the lighting in this video is absurd. But number two, we have like this guy, a t shirt that says Papa on it and jeans, and he's in this multi-million dollar mansion. He's got some big-ass dragon he's in front of the house. Mark Zuckerberg, except not an alien. <laughs> he's like, well, okay, so, made of meat. I don't know, if we're going to talk about TikTok, the article that just came out, so TikTok got banned in India, again. Yeah. But the last thing that Indian TikTokers saw was a dude eating, uh, Indian guy eating chicken legs. Um, nice. For the whole time until the, until it got shut down in India, and that was well, the last no, thing it, the Indians ever saw. Here, here's the no, thing, here's the TikTok. thing about TikTok. That's not the last thing the Indians saw. The last thing they saw was whatever video they watched on there. It's not television. No, it, everybody everybody watches the same video. It's required by law. Here's the thing about it's India. I wouldn't be surprised. TikTok is not uniquely bad. The only unique thing about TikTok compared to every single other social media company is that your data is in China's jurisdiction. Which, if you have a job with the government or otherwise have, like, a security clearance, yeah, you probably don't want to be on it because now a foreign power has access to personal data. But, like, if you're just an average Joe, like, 
you're working well, your regular old nine to five job. It, it's it's no. It different. doesn't matter because the people who are in power and that matters don't know the difference between an iPhone and an Android. Uh, is that the case in China though? Are they smarter than us? That they is completely are. not the case in China. Yeah, <laughs> oh, probably... no, not in China, but I'm talking about in the oh, US. As far as I can tell, 90% of the re-TikTok bad, re-Tencent bad is just people realizing how venture capitalists and social media apps work with good old yellow peril. Like, okay, oh, so did you... many Asians are an existential threat to the West. But do you guys hear the data so they can are. set it? Yeah, it, that, yeah. That, that's what I mean. It, yeah, there, there's nothing, as far as I can tell, there's nothing that's no, the, particularly... The only bad. real difference between, like, Tencent and Google is Tencent is partially government-owned, and that's only because it's China. Well, as far as I know, Tencent isn't really a tech company. They more invest, but it's in a lot of tech stuff. Uh, I'm not yeah. really sure what would be... A conglomerate. They own, like, movie theaters, like, studios, and games and stuff. Yeah, it, it's not. it's not really unique but specifically okay so the indian army just banned 89 apps so here's the image of what they did and a special thing on the the document was banning all 10 cent gaming apps yeah and see frick that's what i mean because well, they are they are, war, they are in the military therefore having like using apps that are uh having apps where your user data is owned by a foreign power is actually kind of dangerous um yeah. but like for a regular civilian it really doesn't matter um the reasons they said they had such a big crackdown on these things and it wasn't because like because in the u.s that happens all the time like people in the u.s and the army like they'll post stuff to their facebook page when they mean to chat not to do that or whatever it happens but the reason that all the stuff happened in india was particularly because uh, a lot of indian army people were like sergeants yeah, cadets and shit no. We're posting about how bad the food is. All the top brass were getting really embarrassed by it, so they banned all these social apps. Oh, that's they, why. They prob that's government. probably not why. Well, that's one of the rooms. I'm sure that that was a part of it, but I don't think that was the main Wait, reason. Wait, Clash of Kings? Do they mean Clash of Clans, or is this a different game that's popular in India? They banned PUBG! Oh no! Yeah, I like PUBG. Like, all five people still playing it are gonna be sad. Well, the US government probably wants to ban TikTok, not because it's Chinese. It's probably because people on TikTok have arranged things that just mess with Donald Trump multiple times. Well, like, booking, be... like, 1.2 million tickets or something the, for his event, and only, like, 2,000 people showed up. Well, the thing the thing about Trump's event is that the stadium in question only sat like I think twenty thousand people, and the city itself has a population of about four hundred thousand. I have no idea where these numbers came from or why well, they came from. Uh, TikTok, mostly. But okay. no, these these numbers were never real. Like they they didn't prevent a million people from showing up because it would be literally impossible for a million people to show up because the venue was just not big enough like no but it, it made wait, it you're telling me it was literally now, fake because... news what uh no. yeah it was literal fake news it was i have no idea what the origin was of it frankly no a bunch of people it was uh no it's a bunch of zoomers on tiktok that just said book some tickets they're free so all of them did and they got like 1.2 million tickets booked and only 2,000 but... people showed up or something no, they didn't, Andrew. I don't think you understand. There are 20,000 people in the stadium. That means that either their back end didn't have an upper limit on ticket sales, which would be very stupid, or oh, it was that one. they They're didn't actually do that in the first place. Like that they are very stupid. I I I do not I do not believe that that happened. Also, you're drunk as shit. Um, <laughs> no, that, that's not what happened. I think it was like 1.2 million people signed up for like text reminders or something like that. Okay. It, if you guys want to talk about, if you want to talk about insanity, have you guys seen the text that you get? If you sign up for Trump's campaign updates? No. Why would I do so? Oh my God. Okay. So I'll, I'll post some of them in chat. These are the most insane, like clingy things I ever, so basically for those that don't know, when you sign up to get updates from Trump, 
um, they ask for your cell phone number. And when you do, you get the most aggressive text I've ever seen in my life. Like some of them are being like, oh, uh, Trump, Donald, Donald Trump has been asking about you. Why have you not replied to Donald Trump's text? Well, this frick, yard sign. Frick, for that's not in. Jesus Christ, Frick, how are you this easily impressed? This is exactly on brand. <laughs> like, <laughs> why would you expect anything else? This is exactly the kind of language that I would expect from his campaign. Like, it's so blatant, dude. It's so blatant. Yes, it is. And I've been aware of politics in the past five years. Wait, and is that a premium that, number where every yes, time you reply to it, it, it charges you like a dollar or something? No, 855, I think that's a toll free. Hang on. Okay, so I'll post you one of the best ones. So here's one. They all pretend to be Donald Trump and they all pretend to be like asking about yeah, you specifically. Is. One that I want to, I want to read this one out specifically. President Trump, this President Trump here, the left hates our rallies. I need your help to prepare. <laughs> yes. Wait, first of all, Frank, Frank, I have a different question for you. Why did you willingly yeah. subscribe to this? I didn't. I didn't. I just, I just yeah, seen, did. Uh, Frank, did you make that. Dave subscribe to this? No. No, <laughs> I, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Even if yeah, it was for the law. This, this, this is just the kind of thing that I would expect. Uh, you know what else this is? Uh, Don Jr., my father asked me to text you. He reached out to 100 patriots to join the Trump 100 Club. You're the only one. And it's one, so many One the numeral rather than the word. Who can join, join now. See, what that is, what the vibes that I'm getting from that, that's... Um, Emotional blackmail. No, it's no, no. It's, um, he's it's a small like, child who doesn't Andrew, have shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ. It's like when, um, when ads say things like, Oh, we've got this exclusive offer, and almost all of them are gone. You, you've got to sign up now. It, it's, it's that kind of a marketing thing. I don't remember what the term for it is, though. And I, it, it's, I know what you're talking about. It's, it's kind of like a combination of FOMO and some other stuff. I know what you're saying. Yeah, FOMO isn't it, but yeah, it's, it's in that vein. It's, it's the same genre. But yeah, no, it's like none of this is surprising. Like this, I would, I would be shocked if it weren't like this. Also, yeah. they kind of the random yeah. capitalized words. Um, oh yeah, he does it on exactly Twitter. Exactly like the way he speaks, like those weird random emphasis on random simple words. Honestly, looking at some of the uh, the typos that are made in his uh, his tweets, um, it is very clear that he's not very good at typing on a phone, and also he has autocorrect enabled. Uh, I, 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 I think it would be yeah, that that's the one uh, that I'm thinking of. Um, I think it would be funny if somebody stole his phone and turned off autocorrect. <laughs> not doing anything else, just like flip off autocorrect because that would be funny. That would be. Um, funny. It would be chaotic. It, it took him either him or someone working for him two hours to realize he said "I'll equipped" instead of "ill-equipped." <laughs> yeah, no, like that. That was definitely uh, Trump typing it out because uh, they're. Uh, I don't want to say it's like confirmed but just based on the kind of language used uh there have been a number of texts where it's like yep this is definitely coming from somebody else because it's like weird apocalyptic kind of nonsense going on um <laughs> sorry i just saw this on my timeline <laughs> that's a good tweet <laughs> Yeah. Um, it is. I, I just I just wanted to see some like some context of it. So here's a, a text update from a Bernie campaign. It's like, wow. Okay. Uh, Different. That, Frank, that is from March second. I mean, he's not exactly. It's from when he first ran. That that yeah, that's back when he still had a chance. I mean, like first ran as in four years ago. Oh, well, that's even more different. Oh, yeah, Bernie 2016. There we go. I mean, just like, okay, just like, this is, uh, this is Bill Harrison, which is, I think it's interesting with his campaign because it's like actual volunteer humans doing it. And I don't think he used too many uh, automated stuff, but it's just like, hey, it's Bill here for the Bernie campaign. Uh, it's here. We're starting our, our tour tonight at Birmingham. They give the address and they're like, hey, can you come in? That's it. It's so simple. Well, he's like 90. He doesn't know how automated things work. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, I said join correctly there. Nice. Yeah, you did. You typed a four-letter word properly. Oh. 
know. Martin time. Right, so you're back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. She talked about Formula One and uh, the comicalness of Ferrari's Twitter. Sure. Yeah, I, I want oh, Did you not see the Twitter things, Alex? No. Oh. Okay, like two minutes before the race, Ferrari said, let's get ready to race or ready to yeah. race or something. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. And two minutes later, both Ferraris are out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If we cancel Joe Rogan, what am I going to listen to during sex if I ever have it from the hard times? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, Chris. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. First of all, don't judge my fantasy relationship that doesn't exist. Second of all. Okay. Now I, don't, I, don't, I, don't know if I, should, I don't know if I should show you that guys this, but I, I just made this. I'm really sad about it. I just it made my first food. Five, post it. Would you like to see my first food? food? Hang on. Okay. So before I show you this, before I show you this, you have to keep in mind literally nothing in the house. The grocery store had a power outage. This is all that I had. So before you look at it, I just I just want you to keep that oh, in it's mind. Okay? Oh, this is even better. <laughs> Andrew, what is that? Oh, it's bean toast. Beans. I got to turn on my webcam. Give me one second. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, how do you turn on the webcam in Discord? Is it automatic? The, you hit no, uh, automatic. screen. You hit, uh, or sorry, you hit video in the corner. Like, hey, right, hang on one second. One second. Let me let me go plug it in. That's just uh, Andrews. That's just Pepper that you zoomed in on. Yeah. <laughs> iPhone doesn't do brown very well. Oh, that's racist. It actually doesn't. Look at that. That's like orange and. It, it was it was brown. Yeah, oh, frick, did you buy another two pounds of pasta? Oh, hang on. That's no, not, not pasta. Um, okay. lasagna oh, wow. that isn't lasagna. Yeah, you're <laughs> you fucking Velveeta ass. Oh, yeah, you yeah. It's really, I'm in the dark again. Yeah, yeah we got video. We, yeah. we have video. Okay. All right, hang on. Let me go, let me go get the plate. Oh, oh, I gotta get a flash. Hey, hey somebody, have, somebody get ready light, to take a shot because we're gonna need this for the for the thumbnail. All right, hang on. I oh, that's just a podcast doc. I thought that was an email. <laughs> Here you go. There's the thumbnail done. Andrew, is it just beans? What? No. Oh. Look at voice lobby. Yeah, I see it now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I bought more podcast juice. Oh, my you did. God. Good. Andrew, what's your budget look like? What? 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 How's your budget for the month going? Oh, it's going down even more. Nice. Yeah, I, I should not do this, but I'm doing it anyway. Yeah, it's funny. Yes, yeah, thank you, Chris. I'm just doing this so I can see it on Frick Stream. <laughs> if I do it again, I didn't see it. No. It's very important. It is not. It, yes, it is. No. All right, for the thumbnail. No, you don't. Okay then. Sorry, use the beans as the thumbnail. It's approximately ten. Yeah, I'm probably not even going to do it. Don't use the beans. Maybe use the beans. I I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, you do. I, I can't click on the video. Right there. What do you mean? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's because you keep misclicking. This is your fault, Simmons. You should have stopped me. Yeah. Why? I'm not what? in control of your life. You don't listen to me anyway. Yeah, dude, you just don't tell me to do things. Yeah, you're right. You're a strong, independent man. You can handle this. No, yeah, I'm not. Strong, independent woman who don't need no man. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, I saw that video. I'm sure Would you did. like me to send you a link? Who? To Chris of the strong, independent women who don't need no man. Oh, is it the one actress? What? No, no. I mean, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, I know which video you're referring to, and yes, you should absolutely send it to him. Uh, she isn't wearing oh. clothes in it. Oh, that's a different video then.
Where did Frick go? I he he's I think he went to go raid his pantry or something. He's got his lights off. Well, yeah, but remember when he showed his fake lasagna? He also had the lights off for that. I think he actually can't afford light bulbs, so he just <laughs> like a flashlight. That sounds like a warm glow. Oh, no, no, no. That, that was um, from Alex. Oh, okay. So I buy like another two bottles of podcast juice and just chug all three of them. No. At the same time. That seems like a really bad idea, actually. That's the oh, point. Neat. Um Hitachi uh makes lots of things like tractors and data center equipment and software. Oh, and they make air conditioning. I'm gonna get um yeah. Hitachi and things. Their number one best selling product out of all of it is, is the magic wand. It sure is. So they got rid of the branding on that because they're embarrassed by it. Why? <laughs> it's very good for massaging. It is. Certain parts. I honestly yeah. heard it makes a good shoulder massager. Yes. Yeah, so you guys see it? Or do, or, or oh, do I need back. the light? Oh, Jesus, well, he's back. Yeah, All right. I need the light for Turn it on because your you can't light. afford light bulbs. And let, me get, let me get my flashlight. Oh, <laughs> my God! Wait, he was going to buy a $60,000 car, but he can't afford light bulbs. Oh, my Jesus. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got it. It's your monitor held together with duct tape. Break. 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 Frick, turn on the lights. Why Frick, you... is that just a chicken bone? <laughs> so, okay, hang on. What the Frick. fuck is that? <laughs> is that a, a cat leg? Frick, why are you covering the time on your monitor? Frick is a fucking enigma. <laughs> what the fuck is this, Frick? Frick, you gotta hold the camera so we can actually see what this is. Hold on, I, got, I got mustard on. I got mustard on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it called mustard? It's a spam. No, no it's spam just comes like, in squares. This is not square. Okay, go wait, wait, Frank. You, okay, put down the camera, wipe the mustard off your hands, and then hold the camera so you can actually see what this is. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Frick, turn, Frick, turn on a light, please. I can't. They don't work. No, Frick, they do work. <laughs> Just try. Show us that they really? don't work. They do? Okay. Oh, oh, show sure. us that they don't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flick it. No, frick. Another. Buy a goddamn lamp. No, 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 no. Frick. Another question. Look at your door. Look at your doorknob. Shine the light at your doorknob. Okay, a little bit up. A little bit up. That's down. Up. Is this the entrance to your apartment? Yeah. Why are you sitting next to the entrance to your apartment? <laughs> your apartment doesn't have any fucking lights. Oh my god. You. god. Frick, wh who are you? Okay, I'll I'll like, this show, the show now. Fr Frick, show us the time. Are you the what? Show us the time. The time on, on your computer. Frick, show us what else you have open on your computer. No, no I aim. It's hard to aim this thing. It's in the bottom right. It's in the bottom right. <laughs> oh, god damn it! That's still Windows 7! Why have you got tape over the time, Frick? You see it? <laughs> yeah. Why? The tape. Yeah, why do you have tape there? I have to block the time. <laughs> no. <Why>? No. <laughs> Remove the time. Remove the tape. Remove the tape. I can't Frick. Do that. It's stuck on there. I don't know how to get it off. <laughs> it's okay. tape, Frick. You just no, no, turn, on, turn on your phone. Oh, and, it's right there. Turn on your phone. Started coming off. No, no. Turn on your phone. Turn on your phone and show us the time, Frick. Frick, hang on. Does this mean every time you uh, record get out a fit corner, phone. it has to be during the day? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Frick. How do you live like this? God damn it, dude! Light bulbs are what do you fifty think about cents. The, what do you think about the For meal? Fifty cents. What is the meal? <laughs> it's long and covered in mustard. Now, it looks on. like a sugar cane. Hold on, I gotta take a picture. Is that a sugar cane with mustard on it? No, what it looks oh. like. Oh my god, frick! Is that celery? That's a that's a stick of celery. <laughs> 
Is that celery, lunch meat, and mustard? I think it is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that a celery, a sausage cut off, and it's slid in mustard? It's like a mustard water slide for a sausage. It's all I had in the house. Oh my god. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Frick. It tastes pretty, it tastes pretty good, though. Frick, I do not believe that you are. Real. <laughs> what? Show, us, show us your fridge. Frick, show us your fridge. Yeah, the webcam doesn't go that far. <laughs> okay, but. No, just jump on jump on Discord on your. I can show, you, I can show you my shelf. Yeah, show us your yeah, shelf. Yeah, show us your shelf. There's a fucking lamp on it. Turn on, on the, the goddamn lamp. lamp. <laughs> Turn on the light. Turn on no, the, the lamp. Light. Light. The lamp doesn't have a wire. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Do you just get like? This is just determined by the fact, like, oh, it's getting dark now. I guess I have to what, go to Frank, sleep. Frank, move to the left. What's on the floor? Is that a? Te what have you got a tennis racket? Oh, that's just a chair. Wait, you got another chair? What's in that chair? Is that chair better than the one you're using now? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Frick, show us behind you. Show us behind you. Frick, face reveal. No, we're not getting a face reveal. Yes, we will. <laughs> show sure. us behind you, Frick. I don't know if you can see the chair. Yeah, I have my headphones. Chris, Chris, we're not getting a face reveal until we go to Olive Garden. Oh, yeah, that's right. Honestly, I'd rather go to Olive Garden than hang out a frick and let him fucking cook for me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys stick a set hey, out so okay, let, me, let me explain to you what, what you're seeing, okay? So what I got... What I'm seeing <laughs> is a reason to cyberbully you. <laughs> what I found... Target was having a sale on chicken pepper sausages, so I got, I got a bunch of these. I got four pack of them for $2. Then they also had a sale on Dijon mustard, so I got some of that. Okay. And also, I had some celery because I was making celery stew. I had I had leftover celery, so I, I'm using that. Um, okay. And then I put uh, I put some pepper on it. <laughs> put some pepper on your pepper. Pepper sauce. You see it? I don't know if you can see it. No, see no it? we can't. We honestly can't. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Nothing I think matters. The kind of drowns it out though. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's my Why are you like this? Honestly. Pretty good though. I like it. I mean, okay. <laughs> no, 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 frick. Listen, the you weird made the, No, no, shut up. You made this as a joke. I want to see you eat this. You, you haven't taken see, a bite. You guys want to see my engagement ring? What? <laughs> there it is. Okay, cool, but take take a bite. Take a bite of the celery Clean your mustard. Goddamn keyboard. There's Take a probably bite a meal in of the there. celery mustard sausage sausage combo. You COVID twenty one okay. in your keyboard. I was, I was gonna eat that anyway. I've already had three of them today. Okay, what? eat it then. <laughs> then, and I'm hitting it nonstop. Just eat it. Down. I put the webcam down then. Yeah. Oh God, there's mustard on the flashlight. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. Anti-vaxxer parents promote youngest child to oldest child. Alright. Getting a bite of it right now. Oh, so good. Done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with his arms? <laughs> Frick, like, are you fucking listen, Slender Man? Listen, you've seen his hands and you're concerned about his arms. <laughs> the, the whole thing's <laughs> fucked. The whole frick is frocked. Pretty good, actually. Yeah, not bad. Well, okay, so so like literally, okay, so frick, I'll I'll give you the benefit of the doubt because the weirdest snack. No, that I'll don't do that. Make, no, shut up. The weirdest snack that I'll occasionally make <gasps> is ham, cheese, and dill pickle with mustard. Simmons, you eat condensed milk straight from the can. Fuck you. It's good. Yeah, and it looks like cum. <laughs> Okay, but that's that's your mind taking you there. What else am I supposed to interpret it as? Condensed milk from the can. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Salty coins and milk. Uh, there you go. It's pretty good too. I that just looked worse than the Nutella and peanut butter sandwich I made. 
There we go. Oh you know, well, yeah, but you intentionally take bad pictures of food, so <laughs> Frick can't take any good ones. I put the, the Nutella oh, peanut butter really sandwich picture in a Discord for food, and it got deleted because the moderators thought it wasn't food. <laughs> there you go. Is that Alex? You. You just hit it. What is what is that on the right? <laughs> is that the flashlight? Or is that the webcam? No, that can't be the webcam. That's his microphone. Uh, Good. All right. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> anyway, that's my dinner. I, I got some. I got some Frick. Sour Patch Kids lollipops too. Those are pretty nice. Frick, I think I had the common decency oh, to check shit. myself God. up. Damn it! I dropped the flat <laughs> one. <laughs> At least, oh. at least I have the decency to pick myself up some instant ramen. <laughs> oh my god, I hate him. Anyway, that's, that is pretty good stuff, actually. See, it looks like it'd be bad, but it tastes great. I just don't like celery. That's my problem. Frick, you should make, uh, or someone told me this, I didn't actually do it, but you should make a sandwich that's just, uh, peanut butter and ketchup. No. No, fuck off. Why? That sounds awful. I don't Someone like told me it was really good. Well, yeah, but I don't trust you either. No, it's not me. It's someone else. Yeah, I don't. I specifically don't trust you either. Why? There's a sandwich. There's a sandwich in the UK that was made by peasants it's called a toast sandwich. We it's I had like one of those pieces of bread and a piece of toast in the middle of it. Yeah, it's I had sandwich. one of those yesterday. It's really good. Oh you my god! Know. It is the definition of poverty food. <laughs> You should have one. I made one yesterday because I. Do you, you know what's crazy about that? They uh, say if you if you put some uh, you put some mayonnaise on it, it kind of tastes like a McChicken. It does. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, McChicken isn't actually chicken. It's vegan. It's made of bread. And chicken. Chicken's basically a vegetable anyway. <laughs> yeah. Chicken is made of plants. If you think about it, cows are also a vegetable because they eat plants. Does that mean horses are chickens because they eat chickens? <laughs> yes. Well, chickens would also be chickens because they eat themselves. Dude, awesome. <laughs> oh, speaking of, like, cannibalism, so one thing <laughs> that comes up, like, time and time again in case law, like, people who have consented to being, like, killed and prepared... Uh, that still counts as murder because even though they consent to it, apparently, if you're in the state of mind that says, lol, yeah, you can kill and eat me, you're not, like, in the right mind to give consent to that. And honestly, that's just a load of garbage. Oh, no, no. What, what you do first, and this works in Germany because I've seen uh, videos. Um, I'm sure you have. yourself, and then it's legal. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's just scavenging at that point. God damn it, Frick. I, I hate that. I hate that so much. I hate your arms. I why why do you have the lamp if it doesn't have a cord? Uh keeping up appearances. What appearances of what? What does that mean, Frick? Oh, no, I do that. That's why I have a Lexus in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got I got I got a main I got a reputation to maintain. Do you, though? Hang on, Frick. When you film the candy corner, does it have to be during the day? Otherwise, you can't record because there's literally no light. Yeah. Well, he, he records it during a full moon only. That's why he hardly ever uploads. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's about right. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. That was good. Right. Now it's time for dessert. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, believe it or not, Simmons, if you had to guess, how many calories do you think that was? Well, what, the celery? celery. Yeah, the celery, ham, and sausage? Or the sausage yeah. and mustard? And garlic. And pepper. A hundred. Um, I would say that's probably about 350 calories, and that's all from the sausage. 150. 150 calories. That's a hundred. Then that's, a, that's a probably a fake sausage, because there's not enough fat in it. Yeah. It's a chicken well, sausage. sausage. Oh, because well, that's why. We have those sausages here as well, but they're not chicken, they're made of pork, and they are 100 calories each. 
that <laughs> plus the celery, which is technically negative calories. And then mustard, mustard. zero calories. The mustard doesn't have any calories. So I, I was literally on purpose to smuggle drugs into jail. Oh, that sounds cool. It was good stuff. Oh, yeah, we should have talked about that. Hey, speaking oh. of chickens, we've got an article about that. Oh, we, we should talk about that. Yeah, that's for, no, no, that's for a different time. No, I thought we just leave it till the, the end. We just, just lost the article at some point. Yeah, we announced that we lost the article. So, so yeah, it, it's still funny to bring up though. Not fun. I've got it saved in my bookmarks. Oh, you, what you did. Article even about uh, it's about chickens. Hey, like, hey, what, what's chickens? the weekly nut intake looking like for you guys? What the nut? Yeah, the weekly nuts because we eat nuts. Oh yeah, yeah. Like the nuts. yeah, it's the nut check. Yeah, the nut check. Well, uh, I found Actually, a weird lump we... that I need to talk to the dark. Oh wait, the other kind. Yeah, wrong, wrong nut check. <laughs> Neil Armstrong did that, and then he won Tour de France. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't he the trumpeter? No, what? no. Yeah, what? Neil Armstrong. He he played the trumpet. No. What? No, he's the cyclist who won Tour no. de France and cheated. Oh, oh, that's different. He lied about it. Yeah. Oh, the, the dude's a moron because he had no reason to do that. Nobody would have ever suspected a cancer survivor and nobody would ever blame a cancer survivor. He just came out and said it. Damn. He also lied about going to the moon. Yeah, he did. Yeah. It's It was all soundstage. That was the, that was the Libcux. Yeah. That one. Oh. Yeah, the Libcux. What, how's it go? Is it the right can't meme or the left can't meme? I forget. Yes. The, the left can't meme. Yeah, the meme know. is the left can't meme, although I've seen Twitter. It's That's not the, the correct side. Well, hang on. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I've got a good image. Hang on. Uh, I'm just going to post a screenshot from like a 70s TV series and put impact bold font on it and call it a meme. <laughs> okay that one's good yeah oh yeah that reminds me uh cory booker definitely should have got the nomination because he challenged trump to a cage match and honestly i would much rather watch that than a debate honestly that would be so much more entertaining oh yeah i started that because jack wants to murder me with a gun oh when did jack leave Quite a while understandable ago. frankly um <laughs> he doesn't like us no he doesn't like you all on podcast juice there's a difference <laughs> it's okay i was over up yeah i don't have more to stay like this but that's not even accurate neat this one's actually pretty funny. What is that? Harry Houdini? No, it's Obama and Hitler con combined into one. Oh. What? Th that can't be Obama. What does Obama look like? <laughs> <laughs> that Obunga? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Who's a bonga? Yeah, that's uh, the funny meme that's been used since, like, a, a while. Um, okay, Ooh. hang on. I I'm putting these right next to each other. I I do not believe that that is... Okay, hang on. No, it is that picture of Obama. The nose is the same. The reflection on the nose is the same. Uh... Yeah. I don't know what you're expecting, my guy. The shape of the eyes is identical. Oh my god, that's... Mm, I, I don't like that. That's uncomfortable. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Andrew, are you just searching for... What are you searching for? Do I want to oh, know for... what you're searching for? Oh, for... Oh, oh, no, for back. Back. oh he's back. There we go. Okay. The Obama's possessive. What? Oh, wait, yeah. is Ben Shapiro like a white supremacist, or what's up with that? I'm trying to get his sister's phone number. It's not working so far. 
Oh, I see. I've seen those. I've seen his sister's nudes. They're fantastic. Wait, she has nudes. Oh yeah, my so I'm god! Trying to you get a number. Search Ben Shapiro's sister's nudes. All right, go to Google. Some large memories on her. Ben Shapiro's sister. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what her name is. It doesn't matter. You don't need to know. <laughs> I oh. hate you so much. Yep, that's uh, that's our gal. She looks just like him too, which is a weird thing to jerk off to. <laughs> Uh, yeah. All right. What do you think, Cynical? What do you think, Cynical? Uh, I'm just thinking about how you said massive whatever euphemism you used for breasts, and I would just like to say 42 double D server rack. Yeah, boy. That's, that's what's up. That's just extremely funny. The mighty fine honkers on that one. Y yeah. I also don't like it when people call an ass a dumper because it seems gross. <laughs> yeah, juicy dumper. Well, well, we, well, we like, now know that, that Frick does not have a scat fetish. Hey, Frick, have you yeah. heard the clap of the ass cheeks on my dummy thick juicy dumper? I hate you God. so much. <laughs> that's a good sentence. You know it. No, oh, that's... no, it's not. Oh, no, <laughs> no, there's a lot it's... of pictures. Or what? Of the nudes? Yeah, yeah no, I thought it'd be like all. two or three. Oh, dude, I got the whole archive saved on Mega just in case. What the <laughs> fuck? Ted Cruz is still in his 40s? No. Yeah, he's been in his 40s for like 10 years. Oh, you know what's crazy? I mean, you, know Robert, you know Robert De Niro is 80? Uh, Ted Cruz is currently 49. He turns 50 in five months. He looks ancient. Yeah. It, it's because of all of the Zodiac killing. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh, I made a mistake. No. Oh, oh my god, no. Andrew, what is it with boomer memes and obvious diaper fetishes? I don't know. I I need no, to no. find the one with uh Bernie Sanders uh changing AOC's I'm diaper. Stop right there. No, you don't. <laughs> oh I mean I don't need to, but I want Andrew to suffer. I want to see it. What was that one really horrible uh, poo meme that we surfed? The Spyro Subway one? Did you see that? Oh, God. That, that makes rounds all the time. I don't want to see oh that. Oh, my God. It was horrible. You don't, don't even search for it, Andrews. It's, it's one of the worst things I've ever seen. Well, it's not the worst thing, but it's pretty awful. What's this? Uh, hey, don't forget it. Never mind. No, no what, what shouldn't I search? Nothing. Forget I said what, it. What, Spyro Dumper? No, oh, God. no, well, that actually might be That's something else. Probably something else, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know. That might be worse. I'm not sure. Oh, is that the account? Oh, you're saying this is the worst thing you've ever seen? Which one? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> damn. You freaking figured it out, Andrews. I'm proud of you. You freaking fricks. That's That's not hey, hey. Uh, Andrew, I, I found the picture, and also Simmons. I'm going to ping Simmons, just so he can't ignore it. Send it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, thanks. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Weird. It's it's a fetish. I refuse to believe it isn't a fetish. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I made a lot of people on Twitter angry by reposting that. Where did you even find that? Uh, Curse Boomer Images. Oh my god. I forgot to breathe for a little while there. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that sometimes, buddy. Well, I've got a really good image that I'm going to send in general. <laughs> I can't post this here, but I'll put it in the naughty corner. I did see one of the worst boomer images of all time the other day. Hang on. Oh, it's got Chris's brother's feet in the naughty corner. Oh, Very yeah, naughty. that's right. That's right. I took a comfy babushka picture, and I this accidentally had joke. brother's feet in it. What the fuck, fuck is that? I think some oh. boomer just wanted to draw some really thick dick, and said, I'm going to make a comic of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, so you know what? I'm going to go ahead and cut off this recording now, because it's almost been an hour long. So. Uh, no, we're, we're on fire, Simmons. You Simmons, all right, before you cut it off, Okay. He's going to cut it off at that point, probably. Um, no. No, you no, no, don't no. let us talk about fun things. You said, ooh, Wait, we have to cut out the part about illegal. calling people pedo guy. And ooh, we have to cut out the bit about 
reaching for an officer's service weapon, which isn't made illegal by the Constitution, and mounting it in the doors of the okay. RX-8 okay. so we the can do The Constitution doesn't say no then, not buying an F-22. And then, <laughs> when the car battery for said RX-8 ties, we can throw it in the ocean, which okay. is also Chris, not forbidden Chris, by the Constitution. I'm gonna, Chris, I'm going to interrupt you, and I'm all I'm going to say is, <laughs> when you say it exactly in that mannerism, it's fine because it's funny. However, when you start elaborating on the details of how these acts should be performed, that's the problem. That Simmons. just makes it funnier. No! <laughs> Simmons. You work a desk job in the Air Force. You should take two miniguns from the A-10. Simmons, when are you going desk. to let me fly the drones? <laughs> All right. And on that note, goodbye, everybody. Simmons, <laughs> let me fly the drones. I'm a special kid. Oh, yeah, you sure are. You absolutely are. <laughs>